How y'all doing? No. What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. I'm Wes and I'm just here to share a quick tip today on an issue I've been having with my bow this week. Extremely annoying, <clears throat> but I figured it out. Uh, the issue was peep sight rotation, which is basically when your peep sight doesn't line up perfectly with your eye, so it twists at full draw. So at full draw, your peep sight should be pretty close to square with your eye, but if the string twists, it'll throw the peep sight out and you can't line this up with your front sight. It's annoying. Um, there's a lot of causes for it. Some of the most common ones are, um, you know, you've got a new string and it's just breaking in and it, it's stretched a little bit and it throws your peep sight out a little bit. That's easy, throw it in the press, you know, take a, a rotation out of it or a half in. You know, if you're not comfortable with that, take it to your local bow shop. Um, but like I said, there's a couple of issues that could cause it. Mine was a little uncommon to me. I couldn't find a lot of info on it, so I figured I would share, so here we go. So the issue I was having was caused by something called knock pinch. And basically what had happened is these two knocking points I had tied, one or both, had loosened up a little bit and they had come in. And what that does is create tension on your knock. So when I tie my knock points, I like a little bit of play right there. I like my, my knock to uh, have uh, just a little bit of wiggle to it. This one has none. Um, and what that does, it's magnified at full draw. So at full draw, that pinches the knock and it causes the string to rotate. And I think you can see what I'm talking about. So any little wobble in that arrow as you're drawing it back is gonna cause the peep sight to rotate. Now, <clears throat> there's two ways to fix this. The best solution and the most permanent solution is to cut this D loop off, cut these knocking points out, and retie everything. And what you want is a little bit of wiggle. So here I have a knock that's a little smaller in width. So as you can see, there's more play in that. So Realistically, I could just use a smaller knock and I'd be fine. And uh, like I said, that's the quick fix. But if you really want to fix it, you're going to have to retie everything, which isn't a huge deal and it'll give you practice. But like I said, not a horrible problem. Not devastating, but you know, a little frustrating to figure out. But hopefully this helps you out. And... Um, I would go through retying the knock and the knocking points, but there's a hundred videos on that. And I suggest John Dudley's uh, Knock on TV channel. Uh, that's where I learned how to do a lot of this. So check that out too. And uh, I hope this helps you out. And uh, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe. So uh, everybody have a good night. Just want to come in with a quick tip. I don't want to come in with anything. Excuse me. That's not making it to the video.